In our last video, we created a simple dynamic web project that we deployed within our Tomcat, and this verified our Tomcat installation within Eclipse. In this video, we are going to set up our web application in a Git repository so that we can create versions, we can commit to those versions, we can roll back to previous versions, we can compare versions, and then we can store our source code outside of this virtual environment in a place that others can look at it as well so that others can review our code and we can perform code review on other projects also. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say team and then I'm going to say share project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a location. Uh, C users win 7 git. That would work but uh, gosh let me put it on a place I'm going to remember because I'll probably forget that. So let's say C. Let's just say C and then we'll, we'll make a new folder called git right under C. Okay and finish and then I want to go ahead and save this uh, project into that directory so I'm going to choose finish again. Okay now right click team and commit okay uh, I'll go ahead and put my name in here Uh, we'll say brandan.jones at uc.edu. Okay, and okay. Uh, we should create a git ignore. It looks like one's already been created for us. The git ignore will basically uh, prevent any compiled files from being committed to git, uh, which is important. Um, we typically will not commit a class path or a project that's uh, local to Eclipse. A lot of these things are local to Eclipse. The only thing we really want to commit are the index.html, web.xml, possibly the manifest. The other, the settings and the things like that, we don't need to commit. Uh, so commit message, I'll just say initial commit. Okay. And then I'm going to say commit and push. Okay, now it says, okay, well, where do you want to push this? Okay, uh, what I'm going to need to do for that is create a repository, and we'll use UC's GitHub for the repository. So I'm going to open up my browser. The nice thing about UC's GitHub, I'd like everybody to use this, is that everybody within UC has an account on the UC GitHub. We don't have to create an account or exchange IDs or anything like that. The URL is simply github.uc.edu. And I'm going to sign in with my Bearcat ID. And no, that's fine. And then I'm going to say create repository. Okay. Whoops. I don't think I needed to go here. Uh, that looks like help. Okay. Okay, create new, new repository. And we'll call this 15FS. 4045, which represents the current uh, the current semester. Okay, description. We're going to say plant places in. Well, let's call it this in class web application plant places. Public is fine. I'm not going to worry about initializing it with the README. I'll go ahead and choose create repository. Now you see it has a URL here, a clone URL. I'm going to copy that. Highlight Control C. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to paste. And you see it will fill in the other details for me. What's the host? What's the repository path? And everything like that. Authentication, once again, my Bearcat ID and password. So the 6 plus 2 and my standard password. I'll go ahead and store so I don't have to worry about this again. And I'll choose next. Okay. Uh, okay. Branch master is fine. When doing a pull, merge upstream commits in the local branch. Okay, looks good to me. Uh, and next. Okay. And finish. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and say no. Uh-oh. Okay, pushed. Looks good. Push to new branch. I'm going to choose okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate back to GitHub, click on my repository, and if you take a look, the initial commit two minutes ago looks pretty good. If I go up to the, the browser and say commits, 
Okay, uh, sure enough, we see the initial commit here. I click, and we can see the files that I committed, uh, the manifest MF, the web XML, all in the proper directories again, and the index HTML. Now, that's on the virtual machine. Just to verify that this has worked properly, I'm going to go, are you looking now at the browser on my laptop? I'm going to go again to github.uc.edu. And the virtual machine is running inside UC's network. Uh, if we take a look here, this is on my own computer. Sure enough, there's 15FS4045. And once again, here's plant places. And I can say, uh, I can go to history if I want. And we'll see the commit again. Now, once again, let's verify that my changes are working pro uh, appropriately. I'm going to run back to the virtual machine. And I'm going to make another change to... Uh, my web XML. I could probably, you know, go to the live plant places, maybe download a logo or something like that, but uh, we'll just make it simple right now. Also, welcome to plant places, promoting plant diversity through education. Okay, and save. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Works for me. Save. Okay, uh, now let's try to commit again. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say team. And notice, by the way, there's a little kind of greater than sign here indicating that something has changed. Right click, I'm going to say team and commit one more time. Okay, and it ticks automatically the index HTML because it notes that changed. We don't need to commit anything else, we'll just commit that one change. So we'll say add some description to our page. And I'm going to say commit and push. Shouldn't take too terribly long. And OK. And now let's go back and take a look at our commit history again. So we'll say commits. And add some description to our page. Once again, you can see that this is a new version that we've now pushed out. More good news. If I go back to our uh, page in our, our local Tomcat and hit refresh, you'll see that it has added this text to the page as well. We didn't have to stop and restart Tomcat. It's automatically there. So we've made a project, committed it. We've made a remote repository on a different machine, and we've pushed to that remote repository. We've made a change, committed it, and we've pushed that change to the remote repository. These tools will serve you very well. These tools, Eclipse, Tomcat, and Git, are things that uh, will serve you very well, especially if you get a good start with it early. So that's what we're taking a look at in this video. In the next video, we're going to enhance our web application a little bit more. I look forward to seeing you then.